Hey guys, it's Irish again. Um, in this video I thought I would show you how to go from Batch or from Z Shell to Oh My Z Shell or Z -sh. Um I've been on Z Shell for about two years. Um, what I like about it is that it does have autocomplete. Um, with Bash you would have to put in a plugin uh, which in uh, Z Shell, this comes auto. So if we go into our uh, terminal and just start typing uh, cd change directory to etsy, and then you hit tab, it will give you everything that you see here. So if you wanted to go to uh, say pacman.d. So you just do CD and then tab again. So you can go to Cron Cups, i3, GDK, all these, um, all these different things, just by pressing tab. Or say uh, you wanted to uh, say you wanted to go into your i3 or whatever config. So you just do that and just CO so you just go here and then it would go automatically so then you would go LS and then you could see that uh, there's uh, the config files and then you could see here why I'm changing from the vanilla Z shell to oh my Z -sh is because of the theming if we go Let's go back one. So if we go prompt and then dash L, it will give you the list of all the available prompt themes. So right now I'm in fade. So if I wanted to do Adam 1, it'll show you what that is. Adam 2 is a different one. So with the uh, Oh my zish, if we go to the website, which I will put this in the description below, and we go to the themes over here, you can see that there's a bunch more themes than the, say, six themes that the uh, normal one comes in. So that's the only reason why I'm moving from uh, the vanilla Z shell to Oh my zish. So what I'm going to do is so show you a basic uh, thing for this so if you are going from bash to this then um, the github page uh, does have a way of doing this manually so if you wanted to do a basic installation you could do it through curl or through wget but he also does have a uh, manual installation so you can clone this whole github thing and then it just tells you how to change it so you just do in your basic uh, in your user you just do C H S H which means change shell dash s and then bin slash uh, Z S H uh, it won't change it right away. You would have to log out and then log back in just to see the effects. So what I'm going to do right now is, since I do have a dot, I'll show you what my Z, uh, dot ZSHRC file is. So I'll go a Vim RC. So it's just a basic one like this. So I'm going to move this to a dot original. So I'm going to go to CP to copy. Actually, I'm going to go to MV to move. And then dot ZSH. So if I do a tab, it'll do RC, which I like about this. And then I'm just going to move it to a ZSHRC dot ORG. So if we list out everything here, and go over to 
to here, you'll notice that the zsh.rc.org is there. So under Arch, if we go Yaourt O dash M Y dash C S H, uh, it should show up. So right now, uh, I'm probably gonna do the Git. So I'm gonna do Option Three. Press that, and then it will go. Uh, do I want to view the package build? No. Don't want to view the dot install, and yes, I want to continue. So this should take a while since it's taking the GitHub stuff and uh, bringing it to this. So shouldn't take too much long. So if you needed to install any dependencies, um, it will automatically do that. That's the power of the AUR and Yaourt. So there's some optional dependencies that I'm probably not going to have. Most of them are going to be installed anyway. So it'll be Ruby, then oh my Zij Powerline theme, which we can get later, and then Git, which is already installed. So a lot of this stuff should be installed. So the next thing we're going to do is create our uh, our new one. So if we go to the website and it will show you where you can do it so we're just going to copy this so we're copying it from the oh my zish slash templates slash zish rc to uh, to the regular one which is this so we're just going to copy and then we're just going to paste this down Uh, I'll be right back. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so from what the website says, um, if you do it through the AUR, you're not going to get the hidden file for .omyzish. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to use uh, Ranger for this. It's in your user share omyzish and then you can go all the way up to templates and use that or you have it right here too so what we can do is copy this to our home folder so what we're gonna do is since we're opening it up a new terminal uh, since we got rid of the old uh, RC file it's asking uh, to uh, if we wanted to do a basic one so we're gonna hit Q which is do nothing and then it will just run this again but uh, so this is the basic uh, Z shell prompt so what we're gonna do is copy user share O, and then you can hit tab, it should autocomplete, and then the Z, RC, and then we can move that to the uh, tilde backslash dot Z shell Z S H R C file, and then if we do an LS dash A, you should see it down here. So what we're going to do is vim.cshell, our C file. And then all of this uh, can be, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but the ones that we are really need is these two. It's uh, the Z. So it's going to point to where everything is, and then the Z shell will point to the Robbie Russell which is the default. So if we go there to the themes, you can see what it looks like right here. So if we save this, copy, Q, and then we go to another workspace, 
and hit uh, and open up a new one as you can see we can get that to see the list of all the themes we'll go back to our ranger and if we go all the way up to themes you can see a whole bunch of these so the one that I like looking through all of them see if I could find it on the website is the ag noster so all we have to do is change the theme to that so what we're gonna do is go back and hit vim dot z rc go here to the z s h underscore theme and then all we have to do is say ag noster save it and then all we have to do is open up a new one and then as you can see you can uh, put it, it it's changed to do is change the coloring if we wanted to so if we go to sudo vim user share o themes and then ag that CS theme we can open that up and then all we're gonna do is look down here um, the colors are going to be uh, within this part this section here um, since I'm new to this uh, I won't be able to change it but um, another good video out there from Meshi. Um, I will put it, a link in the description below. He goes through how to change the color of a theme and create your own theme and then you can just use it as that. Um, again he does a more in-depth uh, on the Oh My Zish. So that is all I have for this video. Um, I hopefully you guys got something out of it but uh, do check out his other video it's uh, very good so I will see you guys in the next video